Similarly, let us understand abnormal loss of goods. What is the treatment for abnormal loss of goods? When goods are lost by fire, flood or such other abnormal reasons, we try to find out the gross profit, the normal gross profit. We do not want to find out a gross profit after these abnormal losses. We want to know the correct gross profit. And as I said before, gross profit, how do we ascertain? Units sold, we compare it with the same number of units purchased. Same number of units purchased. Therefore, if we have purchased 10,000 units and we have sold 8,000 units and let us say there is an abnormal loss of the remaining 2,000 units. So how much is there in our purchases? It says 10,000 units. Would it be correct to compare 10,000 units purchased with 8,000 units sold? This would not give us the correct would not give us the correct gross profit because we want to arrive at normal gross profit, not a gross profit after a certain abnormal circumstances. We want to find out the normal gross profit. So what do we do? This abnormal loss, this units, number of units of 2000, which is abnormally lost, is reduced from the cost of purchases, is reduced from the cost of purchases. So what is the accounting entry? For the loss, for loss, we say abnormal loss account debit or goods lost by fire debit, goods lost by flood debit, some kind of whatever is the abnormal loss account debit to, to trading account. Let us take an example for simplicity's sake. Let us say the cost of these goods was at the rate of rupees 5. If so, I am talking of an abnormal loss of rupees 10,000. We pass this one entry in case of norm for loss, for the loss. As a result of passing this entry, we have created an account called abnormal loss. As a result of passing this entry, we have created an account called abnormal loss. Now what do we do? We close this abnormal loss by transferring it to the profit and loss account. Profit and loss account. But it is possible, it is possible that we have an insurance claim. Normally, our stock could be covered with insurance and therefore, there is an insurance claim and I will not suffer this entire 10,000 loss. Let us say the insurance company has agreed to uh, compensate us, agreed to pay us a claim of rupees 6,000. In that case, what do you do for loss and for Insurance claim and writing of net loss. What do we do for this? We say insurance company account debit because they, it is payable from them. Let us say they have agreed to pay 6,000 and the balance amount of 4,000 would be our loss which would go to profit and loss account. Profit and loss account debit to Insurance company account debit 6,000, profit and loss account debit 4,000 to abnormal loss account 10,000. So this would be the sequence of entries in case of abnormal loss of goods. Abnormal loss account debit to trading with the cost of the goods which have been lost. Then insurance company account debit in case there is an insurance claim, profit and loss account debit with a net loss to abnormal loss account, 10,000. So this entry is actually passed so that we ascertain the correct normal gross profit.
So abnormal loss account is created so that we can arrive at the correct gross profit, the normal gross profit. These are the accounting entries including that of the insurance case.